Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. What's up guys? So I got some really great news for you. It's gonna blow your mind. Guess what? I have reached over 500 subscribers and I think this deserves a video. So much has changed since I started creating videos on this channel. The very first video I've uploaded on YouTube was in 2012. At that time, I wasn't really into filmmaking. I was passionate about breakdancing. That was like my superpower back then. I started recording videos of myself breakdancing to keep track of my progress. Eventually in 2017, that's where the obsession in filmmaking began. Here and then, I started to do short sketches with friends, create dance and travel videos, and just try different things out. Like in breakdance, I wanted to become good at filmmaking. And soon, this became my ultimate goal. I wanted to push myself to get better at it, and the best way to do it is to practice. This applies for film <laughs> spitting everywhere. This applies for the filmmaking world. As a break dancer, I used to train five days a week for two to three hours. I was like a machine. And you can watch so many YouTube videos on how to do air flare. By the way, an air flare, it's a sick, sick move. But if you don't practice it, then you will never be able to execute an air flare. And that's why I still can't do one. Now I had my YouTube channel since 2012 and I never really took advantage of it. It was around 10 months ago where I started to upload videos on YouTube uh, and it's obviously growing. This wasn't really easy, but I got inspired by a few YouTubers like Peter McCann and Daniel Schiffer and then decided to do video tutorials myself. I had doubts at first and I wasn't sure if this was the right thing, but what I did know is that I had to start somewhere. There are probably tens of thousands of YouTubers out there that create better videos than me, so why even bother creating these videos, right? Well, people actually watch my content because of who I am. And that is what makes my channel probably so unique. If you can develop your own uniqueness and be authentic in front of the camera, then people will more likely be attracted to your video. You know, it, it gives the audience a feeling that I'm actually there talking to, to the person, but I'm actually not there because I'm, you know, here in Switzerland with the cows. Anyway, that's important to know. And another key factor in becoming successful in, on YouTube is to be consistent and have good content. From time to time, I comment on people's videos just to get myself more involved and be a part of the YouTube community. Currently, I post videos once a week. Some videos do well, others not. Um, you have to engage with your audience and know what they want. I always try to do my best when I create these tutorials so that people like you get lots of value from it. <laughs> Look at this Justin Bieber here. It's so bad, my hair is so bad, right? Shit. Why are you guys laughing? You probably look the same. I love to interact with you people and it's always great to hear when you get something out of my videos. As of right now, I feel that I'm still at the very beginning, um, but I have improved since my first videos that I have uploaded and that is always great to see. I hope to grow this channel and build the community so that we can all support each other and have awesome conversation. I'm also down for collaborations, so if you have a great idea, then hit me up. I have done a few collabs in the past which I really enjoyed and the results were really great. I learned so much from creating YouTube videos. The best way to understand something is to teach it. While we teach, we learn. Getting good at something is a process and takes time. Same goes for talking in front of a camera. I actually still feel uncomfortable in front of the camera because it feels so unnatural and I'm just looking into my camera, talking to a camera is just not, you know, it's unusual. but. You know, within time you get used to it. I prefer, you know, talking to real people. You know, sometimes when the topic gets really complicated, I like to use a script. This just helps me get my, get everything together and my videos are more structured that way. You know guys, my first videos uh, were actually in Swiss German. Gang mir Russen du emoji. 
Hallo liebe Leute und willkommen in meinem Channel Box Planet. Eventually I, I switched completely because um, the majority of people speak in English. Creating videos takes time and is a lot of hard work, but if you don't enjoy it, then you might as well just leave it or like me, you should just practice my air flare, you know, coming soon. My biggest advice for you is not to be afraid and just start, man, no matter how stupid your subject might be. Once you're in it, it's actually not that bad. You get used to it. Within time, you, you will discover your workflow and it gets easier. And you know, more doors will also open up for you and you might discover something bigger. The joy of YouTube is that you can create content about anything, man anything but i can't promise you that i'm gonna watch it all right guys i think i'm gonna stop right here um i just wanted to thank you so much for the 500 subscribers i really have no words for it if you have any questions for me just leave it in the comment section below i answer on every comment that you leave so i'm here for you if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. We're gonna grow this together and hope to see you soon. Take care and see you the next time.